I'm going to head to artboard number three, where you'll find some pretty bland looking artwork and we want to bring it to life a little bit, but we're going to infuse it with a base color, uh, which is a brand of color. And we're going to create a harmony of other colors around that, that will all work well with one another. Hence the harmony. To achieve this, I'll need to go to the window menu and open up something called the color guide panel. And then when that pops up on screen, I'm just going to drag it to the side of the artwork so it's not covering everything up. And I'll also move my swatches panel to the side as well. I'll need to unlock my titles layer in the layers panel because that contains the logo. And I want that to be the basis for our color harmony. So when I select that, notice in the upper left hand side of the color guide panel, our red branded color now is the base around which our harmony will be built. So with the base color set, you can click on the drop down menu just adjacent to that. And you're presented with a list of colors that will harmonize perfectly with our branded red color. Now from the list towards the top, I'm going to choose right complementary. That will give us a nice cool set of colors to complement our red logo. In the center of the color guide panel, we have all the pure hues that it's matched up for us. Either side of that, we have tints and shades. So a shade would add black to our base colors, make them darker, and then tints will add white to lighten those colors as well. And with all of that in place, we're now good to go. So if I select our bicycle in the foreground, I'm going to apply that with the dark blue and it'll be a, a nice contrast to the red, which I'm going to apply to the wall and the gate as well, just behind the bicycle, uh, which I will apply with our branded red. And you'll notice we've got some tufts of grass down at the bottom as well. So if I select that shape, I'll also apply the same branded red. So we've got a nice contrast in the foreground. If I select the hill and then the tree that's in the background, I'll apply a lighter red to that. So we're kind of keeping all the scenery sort of red for our branded colors. And then of course the sky, well, it needs to look a little bit more jolly. So you can experiment from here by trying out different blues, lighter, darker, and um, I think with that one, we're, we're about set. If you wish to use those colors again in the future, well, you can save the color harmony group. So if I just drag my swatches panel up to the side of my color guide, I'll change the view of my swatches to thumbnails. And then I'll need to just reselect the logo, which contains our base and reset the base color in there. So we, we're working with the same group. And then at the bottom right hand side, I'll click on save group to swatches where you'll see then that uh, that new color theme has been added, including all of the six colors. So it's a really neat way to be able to synchronize a set of harmonized colors to your brand. I'll go to the file menu, choose save to capture those edits.